Oh my god. Go. Let's go. 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 <laughs> go. Too far. You were out yesterday and everybody missed you in the hive. They're like, Where's Oh, Michelle? come on now. Don't make me blush. And we have been scalded to make sure we tell everybody if you're not here that she's just she's just off today. Oh. It's not the day. Not the day. I'll <laughs> let everybody know. I'll yeah. post something. <laughs> I'll be on my way. I'm in labor. Okay. So just wanted to thank everyone in the five hive because sometimes we get some really good stories. And this one is about Nike. So I want to share this with you because a Shahala shoe store just found out that it won't be able to sell Nike shoes any longer. And this is a big blow for that store. Earlier this month, the owners of Brunswick Shoe Store got a letter from the shoe company saying that Nike would no longer take orders for shoes or apparel from the store. The owner's great-grandfather opened that business back in the 1880s. They've been selling Nikes there since the 1970s. And in the letter, Nike said Brunswick no longer aligns with our distribution strategy. Another Shahalis mm. business owner posted that letter on Facebook and the store's customers are pretty upset. But the owner says other small retailers have been getting that very same letter, so he expected it. Nike hasn't been the easiest to deal with the last few years. We used to get the Jordans that people would line up for. Um, for whatever reason, we weren't getting those anymore. So mm. here's the letter. It was posted in the Five Hive if you want to read it for yourself. It's very easy to read it by texting Hive to 448 4545, area code 206, by the way. But the owner says that, you know, there's talk online of customers refusing to buy Nikes um, at, right. at the store. He hopes that doesn't happen because if that happens, he loses money. But he's already paid Nike for those shoes that he's carrying. Right. So you could still support him by. You know, buying those shoes, but I'm trying to understand tough. why Nike would do this. I know some people in our yeah. our morning news meeting they were saying, well, maybe it's um, the cost of transportation and distribution, and I, I'm, I I don't know. Part of me wonders if they're trying to drive business to some bigger stores they have relationships maybe. with. Well, I they're certainly know. paying attention to the trends, right? I mean, with, with the whole Colin Kaepernick ad campaign, there was a lot of people saying, oh. That's risky, mm -hmm. but of course their sales went up. Mm -hmm. But then new reports came out saying, yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're supporting Nike. A lot of people are buying things and burning them. So uh, Nike is just uh, maybe it's a all sign. Over the place maybe right they now. they see more people are shopping online. Maybe that's what you guys are doing, buying everything online, and therefore they're eliminating some of their stores. But that's it just seems that they're paid for, they're right? Paid like for. Right. That's right. my understanding. Right. But then it would be, is the headache worth the the stress? But what of headache? Doing they're it? getting paid. What headache? I don't know. I don't know. I don't work there. I'm just assuming maybe that could be one. Reason. Yeah. I no I'm idea. just suspicious. I'm like, I think they're trying to drive business somewhere else. Are they it's just weird, though. I mean, weird. and it feels like, you know, you want to support Nike because it's in the area, right? Mm -hmm. But it just seems like, well, that's kind of Should we not go very down cool. there and knock on their door? Yeah, let's so. do it. Demand some We're answers. Demanding answers. <laughs> I'm going to get Susanna Frame on? to roll yeah. with me. <laughs> let's go ahead and look at some of your text messages about where you shop because this goes on what we're talking let's about right now. That trend continues. Yeah, groceries always at the brick and mortar store. Everything mm -hmm. else I can buy online. Okay. Okay. Mom and pop shops sell on Amazon. It's a win-win. Oh, yeah, they do. Very That's a good true. point. Good. Yes. Very good point. Okay. <laughs> I love this. If I don't, if I'm, if it's not at Costco, I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> wow.